Yeah, since in the morning, I had a conversation with uh, a few people, including some in the, uh, some officials in the government. Uh, but it seems none is quite surprised about the decision. We are very, they are very much shocked, you know. And, but because the decision, the decision comes from the president, they were not surprised because they know uh, what he what he can do. I mean, you know, he's, he's very unpredictable. So nowadays, it, nothing that he does surprises people. They are just shocked. And why why do you think he did this? That is the question that remains in the air for now. We are not exactly sure. In fact, Commonwealth has not been very very critical of of the president and and his regime. If you say EU or the UK, those were and even the African Union, those were the ones who were issuing statements, giving warnings whenever he does some infamous things. But for Commonwealth, they've been quite. Uh, Silent about issues in the Gambia. I know they do send some envoys who do interact with the president and his government officials. Matter of fact, last just last March, the Commonwealth had a very, very good engagement with the government. That was when they engaged them to conduct some media, media reforms. You had several ministers came to the meeting and they made promises to the Commonwealth that they were going to um, actually give consideration to some of the demands of political and media reforms in the country. That was just uh, March last year. And all of a sudden, this, this thing came up. So uh, it is quite second. We do not know exactly what happened. But then, uh, that, that's not certain, sorry. What will uh, the Gambia lose, do you think, if it is not part of the Commonwealth? Well, Commonwealth, it's a, it's, 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 it's a body that... Uh, does a lot of things. Commonwealth sports, for instance, the Gambia is going to the Gambia stand to lose when we when we are not part of the Commonwealth because Gambian sports have been given great support. Uh, some sportsmen and women, you know, have taken part in several Commonwealth uh, competitions, and that has given them some 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 a moral booster because when they perform well there, it actually gives them some 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 moral booster to participate in other international games. But besides that. You know, the current chief justice of the Gambia is here under a Commonwealth mission. You do have quite a number of judges in the Gambia, and their involvement here has been uh, for decades. That was since the former regime. Commonwealth do send some technical uh, personnel to come and help in the judiciary. Like I said, the current chief justice is here under that, and even the judge at the special criminal court of the High Court is also here on the Commonwealth mission. So which means we are not going to have a chief justice for now. Maybe he's going to, uh, he's going to appoint someone and some of the judges will go. So uh, apart from that, there are other, I mean, uh, support that Commonwealth gives in terms of financial support to some institutions, including government institutions. I'm sure we stand to lose in that respect as well. And now, uh, Mr. Yaya Jama, you say he's very unpredictable. I mean, what what kind of a man is he? And if he is so unpredictable, uh, I mean, do uh, what do Gambians think about his rule? Are they looking for a different ruler, or, or what's the atmosphere? Well, the atmosphere today is very very calm. Uh, you know, talk to a lot of people in the streets, and they will express they will express frustration about the president and his regime, and I mean, more especially his policies. But then, when it comes to the elections, um, he win. He, he win. And, you know, and, and even the last election that was 2011, you know, he won massively. So uh, that's, a, that's something that, that actually even experts are unable to reconcile. How the president is able to win the elections in a, in a, in a country where when you, uh, when you judge it from face value, you tend to believe that the president is very unpopular. When you look at what is, being, what is published in the news, you tend to believe that the, very, the president is very unpopular. But when it comes to the polls, he wins massively. So that is actually something that even experts are unable to reconcile. But then, you know, some, some of these election observers will come and say the election is free and transparent, you know. Uh, that's something we cannot reconcile for now. And uh, how is, uh, I mean, how, how is life? I've never been to the Gambia. Uh, how, how is life there? Are people broadly happy with the situation in the country? Not at all. Like, right now, what is, in fact, what is, in fact, a pain in the heart of many Gambians is the issue of taxation. I think the government needs some money, so they are levying taxes on, on, on even small businesses, some 
some harsh forms of taxation, and as a result, you do have some stuff that are even closing, stuff owned by Gambians, these are small retail shops, and those owned by foreigners are closing their shops and going home. So right now we do have that. That is, in fact, more of a bigger problem than the <laughs> than individuals from, from Commonwealth, you know, to, to common Gambians. I mean, to ordinary Gambians, that is more of a bigger problem than the withdrawal of, of, from the Commonwealth. Uh, yeah, the, the situation here is, well, uh, um, when you look at the surface, you tend to, be, it, it's like everything is peaceful, everything is transparent, people are going their business normal, you know, but then on the inside, you know, it's a different thing altogether. I know there has been some criticism, as you said before, from individual countries, if not from the Commonwealth, about things like human rights and, and governance and so on. How, how big a problem is that for, uh, for ordinary Gambians? Arbitrary arrest and detention, for instance, are widespread and commonplace. You know, people can just... Right now, the director of press and public relations, who has been dismissed uh, some four weeks ago, has been under detention in Comunicado for over three weeks now. So no one knows where she is. In fact, she's a lady. Last week, I went to her home. I met only her security and her, you know, and her, and her, her, her maid. You know, she has been there for three weeks in detention in Comunicado. In Comunicado. Not even the family, not the lawyer, are having access to this lady, you know. So before her, you had an imam who was locked out for over five months, you know. You know, and journalists are being arrested, they are being detained. You have a, quite a good number of journalists who are not, no longer in the country, they are in exile, you know. So there is that environment that does not allow people to be what they want to be or to, be, to express themselves in a manner that, I mean, will create uh, I don't know how to say this, but then it's, it's quite it's quite emotional sometimes when you're talking about it. I hope you understand, you know. But then the environment is very hostile. The human rights record of the country is very poor. People are really being oppressed and suppressed. What uh, wh what is the future? Do you think? I mean, will this uh, president stay in power forever, or uh, or what is going to happen? Well, he, he said he wants to stay, he, he wished to stay in, in power for, for one billion years. So uh, we are hoping to see whether that's really going to happen. Uh, as of now, I do not see any uh, political group that is capable of um, ousting him from office. Uh, that's, that's on the ground, I have not seen that, uh, quite frankly. So, well, the future is to anyone's guess for now. And, I mean, do people think he's crazy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am not. I, I am not. I am not going to say that. I am not going to say whether people think he is crazy. <laughs> I. <laughs> that's that's quite interesting. But then you know how 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 when I when I comment on that, you know how uh, difficult that would be for me here in the Gambia. You know.